Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to cook some radish sweet and sour Chinese style radish salad. Okay, I got those radish, fresh radish from farmer's market. Got three bunch of them. And I'm going to wash it first because it's, it's sandy. <laughs> okay. Okay, I wash it and uh, you pick like this and bottom like this. Discard those. Actually, I need to save some tender one for later um, garnish on top. Okay, I only want those radish. Hi, and I washed all of my um, the radish, the three bunches. I got this much. Okay, so I uh, took off the bottom and uh, the top leaves like that. Now I'm going to pat it. Okay, traditional way to do this is use the big clip to do that. Sorry about the noise. But this is the traditional way to do it. Okay, to pat it like that, to break this. Okay, the idea to do this instead of slicing it um, is to um, kind of uh, to uh, um, open up the membranes, let it to absorb more flavor. Okay. Um, this is the traditional way to pat it, to open it. Okay, and you can try to use this, uh, the small knife and use small knife like sometimes when you um, smash the garlic. You can try to do this I've done this too. Well, it's very interesting actually for this kind of radish. Um, I originally came from China. My city is Nanjing, it's down Yangtze River. You know, this kind of radish in my city, my hometown Nanjing, when I was a child, um, by that time, it was a kind of a very local plant, local vegetables, you know, interesting. Other cities, they have the big radish, big daikons, and they don't have this small red, round radish. And uh, people all think, all consider this is a Nanjing, very local Nanjing special veggie. And even other, my relatives from other province, I think once they make joke of this, they said, oh, you, you Nanjing people eat this. It didn't grow up yet. You eat this. Very local veggie in my city, Nanjing. When I came to US, I saw this radish all over at grocery store, farmer's market and the restaurant, some salad, salad, they slice it in the salad, put it in the salad, everywhere. It's very interesting. Actually, the name in Chinese, traditionally, we say it's yang hua luo bo. Luo bo means radish, but yang hua, those two, two characters, yang means foreign. Okay, foreign, from overseas. Okay, the last three, I back to my traditional way to use is the big cleaver to do it. Okay, this is a traditional way. Sorry about the noise. That's the way. <laughs> See, my powerful cleaver. <laughs> okay, so now in my bowl is like that. Okay, and I'm going to put about this is the three bunches. I'm going to put about um, one tablespoon of salt. Okay. Actually, one teaspoon. One teaspoon will be 
enough. One teaspoon. Okay. Stir it evenly. Okay, and let it set for about 15 minutes. Okay, we're back in 15 minutes. Hi everybody, I'm back um, for very quick um, pickling for this uh, radish for 15 minutes. Uh, so I took off, took away the juice from the radish. Okay, and then take off, take 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 off some uh, take away some uh, um, salt too. This water we don't need it because it's very even this juice from the radish is very strong, spicy from the the raw flavor from the radish. Usually people do not like it in the dish. Okay, I take this off and then I put some uh, vinegar, dark Chinese styles of vinegar, dark vinegar. I prefer dark vinegar and uh, some sugar. Okay, so it's a sweet and a sour flavor. Uh, for the vinegar, you can use um, lighter vinegar if you want, if you like, you prefer other, okay, but I prefer the dark vinegar. Okay, the proportion for the sweet and the sour is half and half, which means um, for these three branches of, three branches of uh, mm, the radish, I use one tablespoon and a half sugar and one tablespoon uh, and a half of the vinegar. Okay, so half and a half. Okay, you can adjust to your taste. And some sesame oil, this sesame oil is very good, um, good, uh, good, uh, good flavor. And some, uh, um, because uh, it's uh, from, uh, come from the um, roasted sesame, so it has some um, uh, nutty aroma. It's very good, good nutrition too. Okay, so I stir them evenly, and uh, it's done. Okay, so for my sweet and sour Chinese style radish salad, I put in my bowl, serving bowl. Chinese use they use this as uh, actually side dish. Okay, with steamed rice, very simple. Okay, and uh, you can match other like meat meat dish too. Okay, also if you make it lighter, you can you can eat this as a uh, salad. Okay, and remember I saved some tender leaves from the radish and I can garnish it at the top. Okay, that's all for my radish salad, salad sweet and sour. Okay, thank you for joining me.